Hey guys, this is Delta, and welcome to another episode of the Sofa World. Uh, right now, this is episode 8 we're up to, and today I have some more plans in the nether. I know we're getting all nethered out, but this should be uh, this should be a decent episode. Uh, it's going to be a long one, or possibly a long one. I, I want to finish this entire project in, in the one episode, so I will draw out the episode as long as it needs to be. I just want to kind of get it done. This is an off-side project. This is going to be the second hub here. Um, so the second hub is connected, obviously, to the first hub. Um, and right now, it's just kind of sitting there, not doing anything. And it's, it's becoming a gas spawning place. We're having issues with, like, fire coming in here and and blowing up some of this area over here. So I just want to get it done over, over with. It wasn't actually my job to do it. Um, I asked other people in the community to obviously do it, and they didn't kind of jump up to it. So I decided to kind of take over. Um... But that's fine. Look, if if they can't don't have time to do it, I'll, I'll head over it. So what I'm doing now is, um, if you had remember, I talked about maybe making a soccer pitch out of it, and that's what I'll be doing. I'll be creating a small uh, or dumb down size soccer pitch. Uh, approximately, it's the same ratio, aspect ratio as a normal soccer pitch in terms of the length times width. However, it's not really not to not to scale, but um. <laughs> But it's the same ratio. So what I'm doing now is just putting down grass, um, just spread it out, get it ready, and the pitch will run along the side here. Uh, the roof will be five high. Um, even though that's grass territory, over five blocks, grass can spawn. So I will have um, well, five by five by five, and it's completely clear for grass to spawn. So I will probably place lights in the ceiling, and every now and then have blocks to disrupt the spawning. Um, so they can't spawn, and that's easy enough to be done. So right now, I'm waiting, literally, literally waiting grass to grow, and I'll spread out the grass further out on a pitch, and we'll start marking it out. So what I'll do now is I'll grab some other picks because I'm all out of picks, and I'll start clearing out the bottom layer of another rack, put grass down, um, and then I guess we start working on the sides and everything, and also the door frames as well. We're going to have uh, originally one door frame here, which would be a soccer goal, another one down there, which would be a soccer goal. Uh, we have four corners um, to go in, plus I think we'll have either two on each side. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, ten um, doors that lead somewhere. The last one won't lead anywhere for now. Uh, we'll just be blank, or a soccer goal at least, until we can actually work it out. Soccer, I mean, also mean football as well. I'm Australian, so we, we call it by soccer, even though I understand that it's football as well. Um, just to let you guys know that. So, yeah, let's get this done, and hopefully we can get done in one episode. Um, I'll push for it, even though it might be a long episode, so bear with me. Okay, so we'll be back. All right, guys, the grass and all dirt has been placed down. Uh, thanks to Kushi, he uh, he brought some dirt over and also, uh, uh, I think, tanked it with an efficiency three pick or something like that, efficiency four, and got rid of all the nether back as well for me, and placed some dirt down for me as well, so thanks to Kushi. Uh, so it's, it's getting there eventually. We've got the grass spreading out all the way to the edge. Um, I started with I think one or two source blocks, one over there, one over here, and it's grown quite far. Um, so I decided to do the, the I'll probably do the lines, the the actual lines to mark out the gold and everything. Those will be done in uh, those will be done in snow because snow is uh, pretty much it's exactly the same as wool, but it doesn't burn, which is funny that snow doesn't burn, but wool does. Um, and I will keep the current design of nether brick and sandstone that we have over here. So I've got a fair bit of sandstone over now. I've got to go get nether brick. Uh, this room is probably mostly nether brick in terms of the uh, the walls um, and trimmed up with uh, sandstone. I'll probably do the opposite. So the, the walls in here will be sandstone trimmed with nether brick. Um, just, just to kind of give some variance as well. So the walls will go pretty much along along here um, and start out. I had originally thought maybe I could do some lava again. I'll have lava walls along the side. Uh, but I went against it, um, obviously because we have the doors and everything that we're going in. I did want to do some um, some writing in terms of uh, doing some letters, maybe at a glowstone, but the doors will probably interfere uh, with that, unless I do it behind the goal. Right, which is actually possible to do. I was, I was going to write the server rows or T S B, um, 
on one of the walls. So maybe I can do it behind this goal here because this this goal hasn't really got a door there yet. So what I'll be doing, um, I guess I'll just be laying out the rough designs for the walls and we'll work out how we're doing the trim and everything um, for the grass. I may actually be thinking about moving out the walls one more and having the nether brick trim going around uh, the outside before we get to the walls, which I may try um, in a distant bit, so once I clear this out, so... I'll be back hopefully with some with some demonstrations and setups and we can kind of decide where we want to go from there and pick a design, so we shouldn't be too long. Alright guys, uh, I went and grabbed some nether brick, went down to one of the places and just ripped through it. Uh, I started laying out some uh, plans, I'm not too sure which one I should go through. Go to. This is just a plain wall directly onto the grass. Uh, bear in mind there will be a white line that goes around here as well. Uh, secondly, we just have another brick that goes straight onto the onto the uh, wall. Or we have sandstone, then another brick, then the wall. Now the walls will be built up of the alternate sandstone look, so the one that is flat. I like that one better. So I'll, I'll remove those ones that look like that instead. Uh, it's just much more smoother surface and it looks more refined, so I'll be using that. But um. Yeah, I'm not too sure what what one I should go for. I'm, I'm tossing up between obviously these two. Um, I'm just not too sure if that's enough, if that's too much, or if, I don't know if it's over the board. If I was to keep on going and have a ring around it, uh, I'm trying to visualize it in my head as well. But uh, yeah, I have to work things out. So what I might do is I might. Uh, what can I do actually in the meantime? Well, I think I could clear out this wall over here and get some more area. The grass is still growing, so I just have to wait for that. But there's not much really can do, so. Hmm. Because obviously I want the ceiling to be matched or match something similar. Uh, I'm not too sure what I'm doing with the ceiling yet. I think I may be using um, half subs again and maybe having it um something similar to the ceiling over here with with the half slabs like that, or even wood, I don't know, I could try wood out. Wood wouldn't look too bad, um, here. So, I'll, I'll, I'll muck around with it. Uh, if you, if you want, leave some suggestions, and I can always change it if I've, once, once I've finished it, I can always go back and change it. Um, so it wouldn't be too much of a hassle. But, yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to think what I can do, so, I guess I'll be back with, um, some, maybe some more, uh, visualizations of what it would look like. So, yeah. Okay, so I've now done the entire wall uh, with sandstone and I've done half and half, so half one idea and half the other idea. I'm still yet to decide what I want to do. I'm thinking more along the lines of this, just because this white band gives a clear, a clear definition um, of what where the court ends and where it starts and whatnot. So. Yeah, I don't know, it's, it's it's just hard, and then we'll have obviously the doors that go off into each one. I think it also gives me more room to play around with um, with this band as well, in terms of me mucking around with the ceiling and actually um, tweening it in. Because the going straight from the green to the, the maroon to the, the the yellow white of that kind of is too jarring. I think the green, then yellow, then and then the, uh, the brick, then back to the sandstone kind of looks much cooler. So I think I might go with this, but like I said, I can always change it. So if you guys have a better idea, uh, feel free. I can always use the stairs as well and have like a um, have a stair going into the wall, like so. Uh, and that could always, always be a uh, an option as well. So just let me know if you have any ideas yourself, guys, and we can always change it and muck around with it. Um, these guys are really pissing me off again, as always. I just want to eradicate them all. Uh, however, I don't have really any tools on me, so I might have to just leave them be for now. But let's tear through this wall and we'll uh, move it back a bit and get sorted. So what I'll do is I'll probably do the walls, um, the rest of the walls, do a complete ring around it um, and we'll work from there probably. Okay, so I've started some wall, I'll finish off this wall over here, it's looking quite nice. Um, but I'm, I, I've just realised I'm now concerned about the... Uh, Hey, welcome back. Uh, consider this this line here. Um, the fact that this line here would also be there'd also be a white line as well that would be similar here. I don't have obviously it'd be a line that goes along there as well, 
And so we're going to have these two white lines almost. So I was just concerned about the, how it look. And I was thinking about actually re replacing this either for woods, like wood parts like that. Um, it, that also would bend quite well with the, um, the grass. Um, like so. Either have that or having a double line of netherrack, nether brick, sorry. Um, I could also do like stairs going in or going out of the direction. It would look pretty cool as well. Um, or even half slabs. I've got. Um, so I've got another decision. I don't. I was just thinking, yeah, I don't want half slabs because you can see the dirt, the edge of it. So no half slabs. Either. Four blocks, um, stairs that go into like that, or these again. So I've got another decision to do. Um, I could even reverse it as well to so have the uh, the wood on the on the outside going into the uh, going into the um, actual thing, which could be an option as well. So I might give it a go now. So where can I do it? Do it here. So I'm gonna remove all this junk. <laughs> I don't want to use anymore. I just, I'm just thought of it now that the it may kind of a bit of a clash in terms of the um the white line on the field. Um, so I can just re remove this for a tiny bit. Oops. Let's pop this off, and then we will place the wood here, and then the brick on the outside. Like so, it's a pity this grass hasn't grown up here. I might continue it further and we'll see how it looks, I guess. But, yeah. I'd always, I'll probably, I'll obviously won't do full blocks like this. I'll do half slabs, double half slabs, so we can, um, so we won't be burning. So, either that or this. I could even, like, have a pattern going almost, so it kind of goes back, goes back and forth. But, um, yeah, I'm not too sure what to do. Uh, I don't know. So I guess I'll come back with a decision and we'll, um, by then I'll do the entire wall, obviously, get all set up and ready to go. So I'll finish that off and then uh, I'll come back with a decision. Alright, um, okay, so a gas spawn in here, which is fantastic. Um, I've got it now, we get more dirt and some more. I've already got some sense on me, but so I can fix this part in here. But there's something strange going over here. It's like a glitch going on. Whereas, um, if I jump down in here and jump out, I, I get hurt. There's like an invisible block here, and I'm getting hurt by a fire. So I got caught on fire somehow, and I can't see a block. It's very strange. <laughs> um. So I'm just going to click a log to see if there's a block back there or not, but yeah, I don't know what's going on. Ah, so it was on fire, even though I couldn't see it. Ah. So what I've done over here is I've I've done a, uh, a wood setup over here, so you can see a wood to over here, um, which looks alright. I quite like it. Um, but then we've also got over here, we have the alternate one. Which is the um, netherrack border, then wood, um, or like that. I'm still, I don't know. I'm still yet to decide um, what what I, what I want to do. It's it's very difficult. So I don't know that. It's <laughs> it's a hard choice. I think in the end, I may just go with this one. So what I'll do is I'll replace these with um, double half slabs like this. Like so. Um, just those so they won't burn. Now yeah, I've got to work out. Uh, okay, so I'll, I'll replace all these and do the ring around it, and we'll come back. Hopefully, no more gas to spawn. I'll have to get some more dirt for over here because I've got none. I used my entire dirt supply on on this. Plus, Kushi helped me out as well. So I'll come back with some more dirt and fix it up. So yeah. So this is quite a low point in my Minecraft career. I literally have no dirt 
at all on me at all. So I'm resorting to having to dig it out of my walls right now. I didn't bring any torches, so I can't light this place up. But this should offer me suffice it or enough amount of dirt for the moment. I'll have to come back quickly light this back up because this will be a spawning hazard. But thank God for this amazing shovel. I can't see anything at all. Uh, yeah, I'll come back with torches, fix this. Fix this up in a jiffy. But this, this is a quite a good shovel. And what better use? So efficiency four, which is pretty cool. Now I've, I've almost, I've, I've been, I've used a fair bit of this one. This is my second efficiency four, I'm breaking three. My first one was used um, to clear an uh, area behind my nether uh, rack or trails, which we'll see, or show, I'll show you eventually. Um, I see I get some torches for this. But I've got one, two, three, three different stacks of dirt. Should be enough. Uh, I'll grab some torches and we'll um, cover the area up. But um, yeah, my first pick went to um, clearing out all the nether rack behind my uh, actual my road itself or the actual trail. Uh, what am I looking for? Torches. I don't think I've got any. So that one to that, which is all right um, usage. But this one, I'm wasting all my uh, my good picks on uh, clearing out nether rack, which I'm a tiny bit annoyed about. But what are they for? And I think in 1.3 they're updating it, so you can't do it, so I might as well use them now anyway. So, I will pull some torches down here, and we'll get back over to the um, the uh, second hub, and we will begin, or continue, sorry, what we were doing before. So, it's all done, um, in terms of the dirt, all the walls are put in, uh, ceiling still to be done. I went and got a bunch of snow, I went and made a little farm. So we've got that going, so what I'll do now, I guess, is uh, we'll clear out a one wide ring around this entire joint. So we'll have to remove all this dirt, and then obviously we'll replace it with um, with uh, snow. So snow will go in like this, and that looks perfect, nice and vibrant. It's very bright compared to everything else. So. Um, yeah, we'll put that in. It shouldn't take too long. I just want to do the basic foundry, the foundation first of the, of the ring, and we can work out all the gold square and everything like that, um, and get it all sorted. So I'll completely do this ring. I need room for a chest. I might make a chest over here, um, and we'll get sorted uh, in terms of what what we'll be doing with the roof and obviously the uh, the gold square and everything. So yeah, it won't be long. Alrighty, uh, I just quickly made some uh, some changes. I found the center line and I got the ring around it all perfect. Um, so right now we're just working out. I just to put this in for reference point. Uh, I need to work out because there's two there's two squares that normally go uh, directly after the goals. There's one that's the inner one and an outer one. There's also a center point or ring a circle goes around each side. So I'm only going to do the one square around here and I'm thinking about just um, doing it uh, closer to the ring because it's equally divided roughly so you've got an equal amount between here and then you've got the first line like the big box and then you're going to equal amount again and then big box and then I think it's a slightly off equal amount for the between the goals so what I'll do uh, I'm, not, I'm yet I don't know where, where should I put it if I should put it like roughly here and then just have it say one, two, three, four off the goal, four off the goal, and do like that. Um, I can always change it as always, so I might just do that. Now, they are rectangles, so I'm not too sure how far out they should go, but I'll just mark them out for now, so it's four off. One, two, three, four. But they can't get too big, so I may just I think I may even bring them one one in. Um, yeah, I may I may bring them one more in, and we'll work it out from there because it's just, it's just too far out. I do like so. So it's looking pretty cool already. Uh, I haven't done the roof. I wish I'd done the roof soon because gas will spawn in here still, and I plan to 
lower the roof or change the roof so gas won't be able to spawn. Um, like so. Uh, I'm not too sure how far out it should go. Maybe here. Yeah. So that's roughly half the size. So that's four plus three plus four plus four plus four. So uh, that is 12. So it should go at six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. So we'll just do it at six. That's half of the width. Like so. Now I won't do the edge that goes around here either, because there's not enough room for that. Um, now the ring, the inner ring is about the same width as the as the inner square, but we don't have an inner square, so we'll have to do it as roughly as we can. So we'll just do this one first. So it's a fourth one out, and six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Go here. One, two, three. Two, three, four, five, six. Let's put it in like this. So like I said, I can always change it. It doesn't really matter if I uh, screw things up now. If you guys want to let me know I'm doing something wrong or you can change it, just let me know. And yeah, so I'm thinking this this ground because it's it won't um, it won't stop pigmen spawning. It'll stop gas spawning, which is the main important thing. This could be our hunting ground for pigment almost, if we wanted to. Because uh, <laughs> the pigment uh, spawn around here a fair bit. So what I'm thinking about doing is making it as wide as the goals. Um, so that's four wide. And then that means that it'll be three. Uh, let me work this out. Into a rough square. That's not really a square, it's slightly longer than one side because the square would be here. It's a it's a complete circle, so it actually it should only be uh, it's, it has to be an uneven number, so we're gonna have to make it slightly off. So I will probably just do it. I don't know if it's too close or not. So, I kind of like that. I don't know if it'll work. We'll, we'll give it a go. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> I don't know why, but we're gonna have to make it. We're gonna have to make it off, and it looks better when it's much when it's off. So it's more rectangle than an actual circle. Like so. So, just do it to this end. Much better. So, we have our playing field. We can play soccer or football. We don't really have much at this point. So, I still have to cut in the corners for each base and pretty them up. I want to create an arch, a slight arch, so it will go around or cut in slight just a tiny bit into the wall and it will show the wall behind. Now over here is cool rocket space so we have to hook it up for him at least and we'll get it sorted. So uh, right now I'm gonna gather in my resources and we'll work on some designs for this roof over here um, and I also need lighting in the roof. Um, I'll probably have to use uh, glowstone, but I don't have much glowstone, so if people want to donate, they, if they can. For right now, I'm going to use pumpkins, uh, so jack-o'-lanterns, and I'll just post torches in them. I haven't got any on me, I'll have to go back and get some. But like I said, I don't have any really much glowstone, so I'm going to have to uh, get some off the other people, or we're going to have to go for a, a, a expedition to get some. So um, I will be back, I guess. All right. I've got some uh, check lanterns and I've got some wood. I've got no netherrack on me here, so I have to quickly grab some to fill the holes in. But um, yeah, what I plan to do is put a, a solid layer of wooden half slabs up on the roof 
and then we will have exposed uh, lighting like similar to what we have uh, on the main hub as well and it's it's that it's the actual um, the lighting that will deter hopefully deter the uh, the gas from spawning because it, it will restrict into the 5x5x5 five by five by five. Now, I'm not too sure how the half stabs will work, if they actually deter as well, because if they're counted as a block. Uh, but, it'll be like this. So, the entire roof will be filled in with like that. If I don't screw it up already. Uh, as you can see, it creates these dark shadows. So, I'll have to work out a system in order. So, if I place a jack and lantern. Why isn't it? Oh, that's right. Because we're going to have to place it like that. Like so. If I do that, every so blocks, um, it'll create this pattern on the roof, which is pretty cool. So what I'll do is I'll actually place down the, all the half subs first, and then we'll work out the pattern from then. So I will probably get to this off camera because it's going to take a while. we have to fill in holes and then place items down, so yeah. The roof is now done. Uh, so what I'm doing now is probably installing the lights. Now, like I said before, I wasn't too sure if the uh, if gas could still spawn, uh, if these count as a full block or no block at all. Um, so if it counts as a full block, if it can't, this is a complete gas uh, proof. Uh, but I don't want to risk it. I, I still want to actually um, put lights in anyway. And the way I want to do it is I want to make it so every 5x5 five five area at least has one uh, light in it. And this will occur, or this will stop a, uh, a gust. So see if I can mark out what area they will spawn in. So um, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 1, 2, 3. Four. and I, I've, I think that they can't actually spawn in this room anymore because of this, this roof. Um, and so I think that the light should be right. I don't think I should, I don't need to put them in or they should be fine. But just for, just for safety's sake, we'll, uh, we will actually remove, remove this dirt and we'll put in actual lights in because we need lights in the ceiling anyway. Um, but we, by, by, by the looks of it, we don't have to be so frugal, we actually can actually muck around with the light. So, what I want to do is actually have the first one go one, two, three, four, five off, and have it right here. So, again, I have to, I forgot that we have to do it like this. Jack o' lanterns need something underneath them to be placed until we get glowstone, um, which that'll we'll have to do for now. So I'll place one of these in each corner and I guess we'll work a diagonal pattern in, uh, spaced out uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So every 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then another one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like so. And then we can always, like I said, we can always replace them with the coins and, and that'll, that'll occur all the way around and then obviously you'll do one over here. So one, two, three, four, five. I think that's right. I'm thinking I'm working it out right. Yep. So it'd be like that. And it'd just be a complete grid system. Oops. A complete grid system all the way around. So I'll get this done. So just make sure one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's working fine. So what I'll do is I'll get this done. It shouldn't take too long. Should do the entire area filled. Like so, and we'll be back. We are done. Lights are in. Um, I kind of, like I said, I kind of worked out that the, uh, the gas would spawn without them, but I decided to put them in, and they work perfectly in terms of the way they line up. They line up on each end of the goal, and they line up exactly the, the amount of the grid that needs to be. So it works at each, each end. So it's actually one, two, three, four, five, six times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's 54 um, pumpkins, which works really well. Um, I've just noticed that some of them have obviously turned different directions and whatnot. I will, like I said, I'm gonna place them in the coystone. I actually may, may embed them in the ceiling 
but they offer light uh, to a degree so we can now get rid of these torches now and have an open field uh, the light should still should still be under uh, I think um, the lighting goes two times faster, two times slower in the nether, I can't remember how it works in the nether, but it should still provide adequate lighting enough for um, this area to be lit up. Um, but it doesn't really need to be lit up because mobs really can't be spawned. This grass block has not grown. And I don't know why. Put a torch there just in case it's that. But other than that, it looks pretty cool. So we'll get rid of these torches and I'll show you one last thing at the end, at the front. I've still got to do the, um, the side panels over here, uh, but I'll probably decide those off camera as well, um, because they'll take a while. So each, like I said, each corner, major end, will have a, a door, and then we two ones in the, two doors in the middle, or even more if I can fit more, but I'll, I'll work it out, and uh, shouldn't be too long. So I'm just gonna remove these torches, and I'll show you the, uh, the front. Shouldn't take too long. But I'm quite happy how it turned out. Um, I'm not too sure why we decided on a soccer pitch. I think Cool Rock uh, said that we could use grass to um, to fill in the area. And he, when we em emptied that this entire area, cleared that entire area, we decided that uh, or it literally looked like a big field. And I thought, well, if we're putting grass down and it looks like a big field, we might as well be an actual field. So we decided on that. Coat came over. It's just AFK right now in the corner. But it looks quite good. Um, the lighting is not too bad, it's constant 10 or 11, 8 between, I think if you go right between it should be about 8 or so, but uh, yeah, it's actually really cool, so uh, it's open for games, but I'll show you the front door, so this is the uh, front entrance, sandstone, um, I was thinking about changing it, so having like a little, a little pathway or, or having um, half slabs or something like that, but it looks quite nice, the, the lava, uh, which we'll eventually cover up with uh, these. Um, looks quite good as well. I haven't got enough iron in me, so we'll just do as much as we can on this side. And I'll finish up the rest later. But yeah, this is looking quite good, and it's a it's a new t new uh, it's a nice new wing to the actual t uh, over here. So what we'll do is, like I said, add slots so that people can join that side. Um, and for people to join who join the other side of the map. Um, We've also got another hub on the way, which will be, I don't know what design, but uh, maybe someone else has to decide, I'm not too sure who to decide um, on the hub layout, because I was supposed to sit back on this one, but no one really took charge, and it, and it was just getting thrashed with gas, so I decided to finish it myself, so it looks, looks quite good, I reckon, and I'm quite proud of it. So, I'll probably end the episode here, I want to do the doors later on off camera, and I can show you maybe next episode. Uh, so the doors, I maybe do some writing on the back wall. Uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's some work to do, so I'll work out what I actually have to do um, and what's left to do, and I'll do it later off camera, but I think we'll end the episode here. Uh, next episode, I think we'll do something in the overworld because we've done a fair bit of nether work. Even though I've got some work in the nether to do, I'll do that later on, and we can get back to something in the overworld um, in terms of uh, some designs and whatnot. So 1.3 will probably come out soon. That, Probably in between this episode and the next episode, or even before this episode comes out, 1.3 should be out. Uh, so that's pretty cool. We'll be upgrading the server to that very soon. And I've I've prepared by getting um, wooden half slabs ready so uh, I can get the old entities that won't burn. But yeah, so I think I'll end the episode here. So thanks for watching, guys. This is Delta from the Sofa Bros, and we'll catch you later. See you guys.